guess what this is? So this is the key to the smallest Mercedes that you can buy. The Mercedes A-Class. So this is a 2020 Mercedes A200. And it looks very cute. It looks small. <laughs> it looks, should I use the word, petite. You know, this would be like the best choice for girls. I know girls like small cars, and I don't know why. So, you know, I really didn't know Mercedes has had a small, very small looking car like this. <laughs> and I'm gonna review this car, and we're gonna find out if you can compare it to the Volkswagen Golf, the BMW 1 Series, or the Audi A3. But before we get to that, this is Retro Drive. This is a channel where we do car reviews, where I do car reviews and other cool car contents. So you should consider subscribing if you love cars. And click on that bell icon so YouTube would notify you when I drop a cool car review just like this one. Now, I really love the way this key looks. Let's get to the review. Before I get to the car, the first new thing you get is this. You have the new Mercedes key, and I think it looks way better than the old one that was kind of weird. So I love the way this, and this, this is kind of the same key that will come with the S-Class, I think so, yeah. So now down to the car, it has a different look from the previous generation. One thing I don't like though is all those fake bits, but I shouldn't be surprised, it's Mercedes, Mercedes has fake exhaust, fake tips just to make the car look really cool and I totally dislike that. If this was the AMG trim, you would actually get some kind of body kit and to look really, really good. You have cool looking adaptive headlights with daytime running lights right here. And you have these two bold crease or lines that go on the bonnet all the way through and just joins into the car. You also have parking sensors inside of these bumpers right here. Coming to the side, you have this is like the best, the coolest looking rims I've actually seen in the series. I don't know why they don't put this in the S-Class. Do they? No, I don't think so. I think I prefer this than the rims in the S-Class. And this is actually 17-inch alloy rims. You have blinkers on the side mirror. You don't get a camera. You don't get a camera. So this key is actually, it has the ease of entry. So you just wear your key, do this, and it unlocks. But if I want to disable it, I can just do this. I'll click and hold this. And when I do that, I won't be able to use it the way I just did. So I'll have to click on it again for me to get access into it. So you're kind of deactivating your key. If you don't want people to like maybe priority your car, I don't know. I don't know what use it will be of. So this is a hatchback. And you know the hatchback configuration, the, kind of, the back was kind of cut off. And I really like the way the lights look. If you can just take a step back and look at these lights, it's a completely new lights you have a200 boldly written here and as usual fake exhausts exhaust tips that's really really sad you have chrome tips around it you have chrome tips around here you have some sensors inside here and let me pop this open oh it's not even electric you have to push it up yourself I think this has quite enough space. You have all this Mercedes mumbo jumbo like the mats and some kind of kits. Is this, oh, this is the spare tire. And you have a purse here. I think this is with your manuals. You also, ah, this is so heavy. Okay, it's actually tied down, so I can lift this up. So yeah, I think you have enough space here. And I like the way this stuff goes up with the lid, the trunk lid, so you can just put in your bags. There's no like much load lift here, so that shouldn't be a problem lifting out your bags out of the car. There is no button <laughs> to break this down, so you have to just... Uh, uh, stressful. You have a rear windshield. You have kind of a small spoiler here. And I think this car looks pretty minimal. Yeah, it's actually the cheapest Mercedes you can buy at the moment. A new Mercedes you can buy. So I guess you deserve what you pay for. It doesn't look boring. It doesn't just have all the features you can wish for. So let's hop onto the inside. Let's know if this consists down to be a Mercedes. Let's know if it kept that German prestige of the Mercedes-Benz brand. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> now, one thing I like are these seats. 
but we'll talk about that later. So you get more space in the A class than the previous generation, and that was thoughtful of Mercedes to do that. So it wouldn't be nice because you're getting a small car that you'd be all cramped up inside the car. So I like how there's enough space here. I guess someone will be able to sit at the back. Don't worry, I'll test the back for you. But right now, let's talk about the front here. So let me just drop my key. So it's not so full of tech, but one thing I'm glad about is that it has the latest Mercedes infotainment, and that is the MBUX. So these are two seven-inch infotainment screens. One works for the driver's display, and the other one here is for the infotainment screen. It has the push to start, and ah, this, what I call it, piano black gloss. It's kind of... I don't like it, I don't know why, because it takes all the smudges from my fingers and it makes it look dirty. So you have to keep wiping off and wiping off and wiping off all the time. So this car comes with some safety features like blind spot assist, like um, automatic emergency braking. And I guess that's just pretty busy sense. I like this air vents. And one thing I don't like is this. These buttons feel really, 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 really cheap, see? And it, it all makes this cracking sounds and no, oh, this is the 2020 car, Mercedes, do something about this. That's just really, really bad. You have practically enough space in the glove box here. This is soft touch. And this looks like carbon fiber, but it is not. And it's like um, simulated carbon fiber. It is actually plastic. So from here, I can turn on heated seats and just control the intensity. I have my seat controls here, memory seats, three places. You have soft touch here, and this is leather. Well, this actually doesn't feel all plasticky. You have the same carbon fiber replica that I have here. Enough, mm, I guess it's just pretty decent though. Down here, you have um, a kind of touchpad to control the infotainment screen. And when you move it, I like this click, 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 that you hear when you move um, amongst the apps, see? You have a button here, you get to change the dynamic modes. You have this for, um, for, let me, what does this do? Okay, I think this is for the blind spot assists or parking. Yeah, this is a parking assist, yeah, for parking assist. But here you can increase and reduce the volume. And this here actually does nothing. It's just for you to rest your hands and just, you know, control this infotainment. And I like the definition of the infotainment screen because it's really, really high def. You get a 120 boat charger here you have a usb-c charger here because this is 2020 and everyone is moving on to the usb-c world so you don't get a usb a port in this car you have the same gloss here that takes all the small edges out of my finger then take a look at this very very small cubby space with another usb-c port right here I also love this steering wheel. It has this is a three spoke steering wheel. You have buttons here for audio controls. You have buttons here for um, cruise control. And I love this aluminum feel you also get here. And oh, it sounds loud. And <laughs> it'll just scare someone up. So let me take you on a tour on infotainment. So this is the phone. You can connect your phone and you can make calls while in your car. Go back. This is a radio. And. Let me increase the volume. I uh, know I can't play that for long because of copyright on YouTube. <laughs> so let me move to this is media. Then you have comfort. And in comfort, you can choose how the seat is. You can adjust the side posters that you can for the driver and the passenger only. Then you can go on to ambient lighting. And now you can change the colors from a wide range of colors, all the way from multicolor to ocean blue. You're gonna see the ambient lighting come all the way here, even down to this part of the armrest, um, the headrest, the ambient lighting is everywhere. And you can actually get to see it now because it's actually bright, but at night it looks wonderful. So let me just take, go back and you can also control the brightness of the ambient lighting or the vents from, the, uh, from every other part. Now going back, you have info you can check out the infotainment um, the information of this car from the engine to your full consumption to your owner's manual if you need to go back to that then the mercedes me and apps here you can connect your smartphone to give you apple carplay and android auto but other i can't go through that now because i'm having issues connecting to this um now you can go to settings and you can check out your assistant, your vehicle, your lights, your system. And you can basically check out everything here. 
you have this. It's also touch screen, if I didn't tell you. So if you don't want to use this part, you can also use the touch screen. But I guess that might be a little confusing when you're driving. So I advise you not to touch the screen. You can might get in an accident because you're all looking at the screen. So I advise not to do that. Let me just go all the way back. And he also has this. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? What can I do for you? I'm hungry. Could you repeat your input, please? I said I'm hungry. What would you like to do? This Mercedes they meant. So you ask me all these questions when I'm hungry. Get out. So now let's open to the back. Let me show you how the back feels in this car. Let's know if it's cramped up because it's a small hatchback. Let's go. Wait, before that, you don't get a moonroof in this car. And that is just sad. But you have to fight us that don't slide. Are you kidding me? They don't slide, but I'll, I'll, I'll actually like this black, um, what's, what, what do I call this, canvas? I don't know what this material is, but it's actually decent. And one thing I don't like is this. So if you can see this here, you're, you're going to see the body panel, the color. Because this is black, it might be hard for you to notice. But if this guy was a red or white, you're going to see the white color here of the body. And that is just weird. Why didn't you just put something to cover it up? I've not seen this in any car. I guess Mercedes is giving you the words for your money. Maybe because they're buying a cheap car and they chose to. They give you nonsense. Shit. Let's go to the back. Right here at the back, I think it's not really cramped up. Um, I'm going to show you how my, head, my new room is going to be, but first of all, let me take, tell you about this. This is uh, netting for cargo, and there's a kind of a leap here. So getting all people into this car might be kind of a walk, but um, I don't know. Now, the back chair doesn't feel as comfortable as the front, I will lie. I guess it's just okay. Then, you get isofix points here for child seats. You bring this down, you have an armrest. One. Two, a couple of us. Oh, you don't get a pass through here. So, I guess that's basically all you have here. In the back, you have some reading lamps and some grab handles right here. So, let me tell you about the power of this car. Come on. So, this is actually the most powerful A class that you can get because this has a 1.3 litre four cylinder engine and it puts out basically the perfect horsepower for this kind of car. It also comes coupled with a seven speed transmission right on the inside it also has a five star safety rating that means this car is really really safe to drive but still i think i'll pick the golf the volkswagen golf over this car i don't know why so what about you what do you think you'll pick drop a comment down below so make sure you click on the subscribe button as i drop cool car, cool car, cool car content like this every week and hit the bell icon follow me on instagram follow me on twitter Follow me on TikTok. I'm also sharing the platforms for more car contents. And thanks to Motown. I'm a Motown to Mobiles and they handed me over this car to do a review of it. So if you want to get your best luxury cars, brand new cars, four used cars, come down to Motown. So there'll be a link in the description for you to contact Motown on the Instagram page. And I'll see you next week.